Hi SciFun video class, Jai Ranganathan here, and in this screencast we'll be doing a few things. The first is I'll be explaining how to adjust audio levels in your iMovie movie. And the second thing I'll be doing is explaining how to find sound effects in iMovie itself. So before we get started, let me explain what we have going on on the screen thus far. So what we have here is a very simple movie. So we look at the bottom pane here. This is my timeline, and there's two elements that I've added in. The first is um, audio-only spoken script. That's the green. And then above it, it's just a slide. And that slide is a single picture of balloons. And that's it. So a simple video of balloons with me talking over balloons. But let's add things to this now. So the first thing I'm going to add is um, a movie. So in my folder here, I've got a movie I'd like to add called Video Clip. And I'm just gonna add this into the top to my events. And, that, and that's gonna be, uh, and there we have it. And so you might be wondering what this video is. It's just a random civil defense <laughs> video from the 50s explaining to farmers rural farmers, how they can escape from atomic blasts. So I'm going to add this to my video. So, but before I do that, I want to make a few adjustments to my timeline. The first is, in order to adjust my audio, I need to first be able to see my audio. How do we do that? So if you go all the way to the upper right of my, on the timeline section, you see this little picture thing of this, and it's called adjust thumbnail appearance. Let's say in this little icon in the upper right of the, of the pane. I'm going to click that. And I want to do two things. Under clip size, I want to crank this all the way to the right. That's the first thing, so I can see what I'm doing. The second thing I want to do is I want to be able to show waveforms. So click that. And you'll see that. You'll, start, you'll see the waveforms of the sound itself. Okay. The second thing I'm going to want to do is to the left of this adjust thumbnail appearance is this little bar which allows you to zoom in and out. And I want to zoom in pretty far in so that I can uh, see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to be zoomed in so I can see. Oh, that's pretty good right there. So, okay. So in this section, this random section, let's say right here, I'm going to add my civil defense video. I'm going to go above. I'm going to select a minute and a half of that video. And I'm going to just drop it in right there. Okay, so how do I adjust the audio levels here? Well, there's a lot of ways to do this. The first way is I can just adjust the global level, the, the global level of this one clip. And the way I do that is, if I go into the clip, you can see here my cursors, you'll see in the blue, here's the waveform uh, for the sound, and there's like a black line there. And if I click, if I mouse over it, the cursor changes. Let me do that again. So here's the mouse. When I click it, move it over the black line, it changes. And you'll see a thing comes up saying adjust volume. So I can just move this up or down wherever I want it to go. I can also adjust it up above, up above this video clip here. You'll notice there's a whole bunch of icons. And one of them is a volume icon. So if I click that there, I can adjust the volume here however I want. But let's say I want to do more than this. Let's say I don't want to just have one level of the, for the whole track. Maybe I want to adjust the level of the track. How do I do that? Well, there are a lot of ways. The first way is maybe you want to fade in. So if I click, meaning that I, when the clip opens, the music sort of winds up from soft to loud. That's called a fade in. How do I do that? So my mouse is now over my clip. And you'll notice in the to the upper left of the blue uh, waveform for this audio. You notice this, like, this, this little tiny circle. Notice that, that's a little tiny circle. And that's how you can fade in and fade out. So if I just move over it, you'll notice my icon change. This is how it is normally, I'll do it again. Here's how it is normally. I move it over that circle, notice how it changes. And now if I just, now you'll see the thing goes up saying fade audio in. So that's what I can do. So if I just click on that and hold it, I can move that. I'm going to move it to the first 10 seconds here. You'll notice there's now a line here, meaning that the audio for this clip is going to be fading in over the first 10 seconds of the audio. And you can do the exact same thing on the other end of the clip to fade the audio out. 
but maybe I want to do more than that. Maybe in the clip itself, I want to adjust the level. Let's say here, right here, this section, where this man is, uh, just this section. I want to adjust this level to be extra soft, just this one section here. How might I do that? Adjust it while leaving the rest of the audio alone for this clip. Well, that is easy enough. The first thing to do is I want to select this part of the clip. So if I just click down here, and you'll notice I'm just clicking down, and you'll notice this is turned to yellow. So I've clicked down, and I can just move this over to the element of the clip I want to select it. Okay, I'm going to do that again. So I'm just at the at the start point where I wanted to uh, select. I'm just going to click down right there. You notice that the, there's now a yellow bar. Now I'm going to drag that over to where I want that to stop. Okay. Now I can. Now this is the. You can now. I have now selected the element I want to uh, change the volume in. Change the section. I want to change the volume in. Now if I go to the black horizontal bar, if I move that up and down, it just affects this section. Notice the black line, I've reduced the volume here, but it's just for this section. If you notice the black line up here, it's the same for the other, it hasn't changed at all. I've just changed it for my section. And um, so that's the second thing I wanted to tell you about. The third thing I want to tell you about how to adjust audio, something called keyframes. So if I click out of here, okay. You'll notice here now we've got uh, these little white little dots here. And those are called keyframes. And what they are are signs to iMovie that the audio is going to change. Well, maybe, and I can just adjust these manually. So if I just click on one of these, hold them, I can move this around however I want. And notice how the black line for the audio is changing. I can move that however I want. On this one, I can move it up or down, or left or right. I can move it up and down. I can move left right. I can, uh, I can do all sorts of things with it. But let's say I want to add another one of these keyframes, because I want to make more adjustments. Well, that's easy. All I need to do is to hold down the Option key. And then you'll notice, you'll notice here as I go over the black line, there's a little, the, the, the cursor's changed slightly. Let me do that again. So I'm going to go up to the, I'm going to press down the option key and go up to the uh, black sound line. And you'll notice the cursor has changed. So I'm just going to click there and there's a new keyframe. And I can just move that up and down and however I like. And I can also move it left or right. But you can't move it left or right or and up or down at the same time. It's either left or right or up and down. Let's say I've made a mistake though, and I want to delete one of my keyframes. That's easy. All you need to do is to press Control over a keyframe you want to get rid of, and then it's Delete Keyframe. I'll do that one more time for one more of these, okay? Let's say I don't like this keyframe. I'm going to press Control and click on the keyframe I don't want, the white dot. I press on it, Delete Keyframe. And this will be true for every audio track. All of these controls work for every audio track. So for example, down here in the green, which is just my spoken script, there's no, there's no video associated with this, just audio. All the same controls work. So for example here, you'll notice, here's that same fade in, fade out. I have the same capacity to, whoop, I didn't mean to do that, let's do that again. I have the same capacity to uh, change the audio level of just one section here, all the same things are true. So there you have it. That's how you can adjust the audio in, um, in iMovie for all of the clips you put in. Now, on to sound effects. How, now, it turns out iMovie has got, a whole, has got a whole bank of sound effects you can just throw in however you want. How do I get to them? Well, in the lower left of the screen, you'll see under here something called Content Library. One of the options is sound effects. I'm going to click there. You notice the top pane has changed. And up above, if I click here, there's a whole range of effects I have. Sound effects, iLife effects, and there's a whole bunch of effects. So I'm just going to go here to, uh, let's go to machines, just randomly. And here's uh, Morse code. And if you just want to listen to what it sounds like, you can just press play to the left. Well, that sounds just like Morse code. And just like with any of our clips, I can select a section of it that I'd like to select. I can select a section and then just bring it right 
into my project. And there it is, right below. And all the same things are true here. I can fade in, fade out, change levels, add keyframes. All, all the things I taught you before about other audio clips also work all the same for iMovie sound effects. So there you have it. All you need to know for audio and iMovie. Good luck.